Uh, hi everyone and welcome back uh, to this series of practice uh, problems. Uh, in this question, we want to find the power loss in the line. Now, the power loss is basically the amount of power we lo lose when we transmit the power from the supply at this side to the load. So how much power we lose is called the 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 power the power loss. So we want to find this power loss. How to find this? We know that the power loss basically is equal to I squared times times R. Now which which I we are talking about here? We are talking about the the I that comes from the supply. This I. So we want to find this current basically. This is our our problem is to find this current. Now in this question we have two loads in parallel, and we know that in power system we connect the loads in parallel. So this could be like two parallel houses, and the power coming from the substation, and this is the cable that joins the power from the supply to these two two houses. Now we are given information about each load. So this load will have I L one and this load will have I L two. So basically applying simple KCL, your I that you want to find is basically nothing but I L one plus I L two. So now your question become how to find IL1 and IL2. And by the way, you can have more than two loads. You can have three, four load, loads, and the approach would be exactly the same. We want to find the load current in each load and then find the total current that is supplied by the, uh, the supply, which is basically the summation of all these individual individual currents. So let's talk about load number number one. So this is my load number number one. So we are given P, the power factor, and it is lagging. And we know the voltage is 240 angle of angle of zero. So the magnitude of I L1 basically very straightforward. It is P divided by V times the, the power factor. P is 27,000 divided by 240 times 0.9. And this will give me a current of 125 amps. Remember, we are working in AC. So we want two things. We want the magnitude and we want the angle. So this is not sufficient. So how to find the angle? We are given another piece of information, which is the power factor and it's lagging. So we know that the power factor is nothing but cosine of theta V minus theta I. And theta V is given to us as zero. We know the power factor, so we can find theta V minus theta I equal to cosine inverse of the power factor, which is the point 0.9, which is equal, uh, equal to 20. 5.8. So your theta i is nothing but minus 25.8, and this is because it is lagging. When it is lagging, it means that the, the, the angle of the current lags the voltage. So the voltage is zero, the angle as our reference, so the current angle will be will be negative. So from this, we now found I L1, which is 125, angle of minus 25.8. Done. We will repeat exactly the same thing for I L2. So your I L2, now things becomes more straightforward, just repetition, just change the value, the 40 kilowatt divided by the voltage, the 240, the same volt, because they are in parallel times the power factor 0 0.795 and this will give me 209.6 amps. The angle theta V minus theta I is cosine inverse of the power factor which is 0 0.795 which is equal to 37.3 
and from this your theta i is equal to minus 37.3 and hence your i l2 is equal to the magnitude the 209.6 and the angle minus 37.3 um, and this is your your second second current now our problem problem is almost done I want to find the main current that is coming from the supply. I want to find this I. So your I is equal to I L1 plus I L2. So it's equal to 125 angle of minus 25.8 plus I L2, which is 209.6 angle of minus 37.3. These two currents are in polar format, different angles, so I cannot add them. I have first to convert them into rectangular and then add them and then convert them back into polar format. So this is equal to the 125 angle of minus 25.8 is basically is equal to 112.54 minus J of 54.4 amp. So this is your IL1 plus we'll find IL2, which is basically nothing but 166.73 minus J12027. So we'll add the real part with each other and the imaginary with each other. So we will have a current equal to 279.27 minus J181.4. Okay. Still, this is in rectangular format, so we want to convert it back now to polar format. So your I is basically is equal to 333 angle of minus 33 amp. This is your total current. So now, once we found the total current, then you want to find the power loss. Your power loss is equal to the I square times R, which is equal to 333 3, 3 square times the 0.1. And this will give me approximately 11.1 kilo kilowatt. So this is your, your power loss between the supply and, and the load. So in conclusion, if you have multiple loads, you need to find the individual current for each load, apply KCL, find the total current and then you can find the losses you can find the voltage at the sending end or you can find anything else in the question so back to the most important thing in these type of questions you need to find the current from the from the supply now regardless if you have one load or multiple multiple loads